we talked about hearing the silence. Mm -hmm. So then you were talking about like there's different states of it or something like that. Right. Uh huh. So I wanted to hear about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there are different stages to this uh, listening. Sounds of movement, and those are the sounds like voice, like the plane going by. Right. Uh, you know, me snapping the fingers. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of sounds that stand out to us, so we could call them uh, sounds of movement. Then we have sounds of stillness, the sound of silence that you already know about, you've heard. So both these types, both of these two categories, belong still to sounds. They're still considered objects of sounds. Take the sounds and we're going to now turn them in inward, in towards our sense organ of that's our ear organ, the okay. listening. Okay. So that which is listening, okay, what is listening? Is it our actually flesh ears that are listening? Well if you think it's about it. It's our mind, right? Yes, it's our true mind that's listening. But before we get there, let's kind of break it down a little bit first. Okay. So it's not the actually flesh ears that are listening. If today I chopped off my ear and just put it in the palm of my hand, it cannot listen. Right? It's the inside, it's the inner ear. Okay. If it's the inner ear, if I t just take out the nerves and the inner eardrums, all of that stuff, and take it out, can it listen? It cannot. Right. So it's not that either. It's if you take out the part of the brain that perceives sound, mm -hmm. a person still hears a silent sound? Right. If you think about it, if, I mean, it's easier maybe to think of it in terms of vision, that for people who are blind, they don't see, right? Right. But actually, they do see. They what see they darkness, see? right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So that's a kind of vision. Right. They're actually seeing darkness. Right. I never thought about it like that. Right. And so the same thing with the, with the hearing is that when all sounds are removed, you're faced with a particular sound. Do they hear that? Well, you know, it's just me listening. But what is me? Yeah, right. What is me that is listening? Which part of me is listening? We, we went through it, right? Or actually the flesh in, or in our ears, the nerves, you know, the brain, all of that. No, it's none of that stuff. So through the questioning the investigation of what is listening to who is listening we began to then go through this particular part which is through the sense organs and the emptying of the sense organ so we actually learn that there is not a sense it's not this it's not a sense organ that is listening but that there is a true mind. But if we actually see this as not exactly solid and, and it's not the real parts that does the hearing, when we see that as I, I when I draw it, I actually draw it, when we actually get to that place, it's just made up of, you know, kind of dots. Like we were talking about how Oh quarks and that kind of stuff. Yes. Okay. Exactly. It's just made up of quarks. And then, so it's just energy, and, and there's, um, you know, space in all of this. When we get there, it's the, we are, in fact, then emptying uh, that particular sense organ. But in this case, we're talking about the ear, right, because it's listening? Yes, right. So, the, this is the emptying of the sense organ, and then next we have the emptying of the eye. The going from knowing that the sense organ is not real and because it does not do the actual listening, then we go back to ask, well, who is it that is listening? Who is this eye that is listening? Then we gradually go through again a process of deduction. You know, is it this body that is listening? Is it, you know, my my feelings that are listening, my thoughts, my brain. Again, we can actually go through this and know that this this eye is not real. Again, so we see... Wait, what do you mean you said this eye is not real? What does that mean? Well, the same thing the way that we saw our ear, 
we consider it very real. This, this, these are our years when asked, well, what do you use to listen? Well, my years is so obvious. Well, you know, what, who is agitated? Who is restless? Well, come on, it's me, Beth, right? It's so obvious here, this me, solid me. It's very obvious to us, but it actually, that I is not very real. That Beth is not very real. What do you mean it's not very real? It's not real because up of merely these energy okay. that are flashing back and forth. Okay. That you're not solid, okay. right? You, in fact, are constant. You are right in front of my eyes, changing by the moment, or okay. quicker than a moment. Okay. Because you are constantly in movement. All of the as the quarks, you know, you know, fly about. Okay. You are you are in constant. You are changing. Okay. Instantaneously. And then emotions are fleeting too, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So then what gives us the I? Then what is the I? Right. Is that is true mind a constant then? True mind, yes. That is constant. But what is the true mind? 